Hello and welcome. Now, if you are using RDS to host your database, you may have lots of questions in your mind related to RDS backup. For example, how I can take backup of my RDS DB instance? How AWS will store this backup inside their storage system? We are going to talk about all of these questions in this particular video of AWS RDS Backup. So, let's start. Hello and welcome. I hope you are enjoying our AWS series. You know, we have big plan to add Azure series, even videos for each and every DevOps technologies. But, for this, we want some support from you guys. You can support us by only doing two things. First, subscribe to this channel. And yes, only subscribe to this channel if you are thinking that these videos is actually giving you some, some values. It will help you to pass any AWS exam like AWS Cloud Practitioner, Solution Architect Associate or even solution architect professional. Second thing is, share these videos with other IT professionals. Learning process is actually not expensive. If you, if you are getting better or proper instructor or a mentor, it will really help you to develop your skill. If you are thinking that we are providing you a proper right path to improve your skill, your friends also deserve this. Right? And for this, you have to share this channel videos with them. So, I am just requesting you to do these two tasks for me. One, subscribe to our channel and share with other IT professionals. Thank you. Now you can continue your video. First of all, in AWS, we have two types of backup. One, we call it automatic backup. The another one is always manual backup. Here, in this video, I am going to explain you how we can set up automatic backup of our RDS DB instance while we are creating our RDS instance. So here, I am going to my AWS console. Here, I am inside AWS console and I am creating MySQL database. Now, while you are creating this MySQL database, if you scroll down here, you will get additional configuration. In the additional configuration, you will get this backup option and here you have this toggle button. If you are not going to select this, automatic backup is disabled. Now in this case, you just need to go for the manual backup. But if you are going to select this, it means you have automatic backup enabled. Now, AWS will take care of your A backup. Let's understand what is this automated backup first. So here we have automated backups. First of all, we are going to start with introduction. Automated backup enables RDS to take daily incremental snapshot of your database. Now, this is the most important part that you need to understand. Automated backup is for daily and it is incremental backup. What is the meaning of incremental? I am going to explain you. AWS manages this snapshot for you, ensuring they are protected and available for recoveries. So, once you schedule this, you have option to recover or restore this backup. Now, let me explain you incremental backup. The first backup is full snapshot, means when you will start the backup cycle, the first snapshot will take a full backup of your database. Subsequent backup are incremental, meaning that the only store changes made since the previous backup. So let's say that you have started your backup job from Sunday, so it will take full backup on Sunday. Then on Monday, it is just going to backup only those changes made between this last 24 hours. So if you are going for the incremental backup, it is really faster than the normal full backup. The approach saves storage space and reduce the backup time because we are just going to backup only changes made from last 24 hours. 
Now, we have one question in mind as well that, okay, we are going with the automated backup and now AWS takes care of our backup. Now, in which storage subsystem AWS is going to store this backup? So here I have answer of this as well. Automated backup are stored in Amazon S3 within same AWS region as your RDS instance. So let's say that here I am creating this RDS instance in Mumbai region. So my backup will store into the S3 Mumbai. AWS manages this backup transparently and they aren't directly accessible to user. Now you cannot verify this backup into the S3. So if you will go to S3 here, you will not get any bucket or anything with the name of, you know, database back, back, backup or anything. This backup will be transparent to you. AWS is saying that we are storing this into the S3 and you have to believe this. Okay. Instead, they are controlled through the RDS console, CLI and API. Yes, if you want to restore this, you can directly restore from RDS. So if you will go to S3, you will never get this um, backup over there. Right. So the whole process is transparent and you can, you can restore this using RDS console. Now, once you select this, right, automated backup, here you have option to select retention period. What is the meaning of retention period? How long you want to store this backup, right? So here we have detail about retention period. The backup retention period determine how long your backup are stored. You can set the retention period from 1 to 35 days, default is 7 days. So let's say that if I'm going with the 7 days, it means... If I'm going to start this backup system from 10th, okay, it is going to store my backup for 17th, right? So it will store this backup for 7 days. If you set 0 days, automated backup are disabled. AWS will automatically delete any backup older than the retention period, keeping only the most recent data available for the restoration, right? But when you are going for the continuous process, it is always good idea to go with the less retention period. Let's say that if I'm going to start backup in Monday, then it is continuously backing up the data for daily per daily to daily. So if you have seven days retention period, it is also enough. But yes, they're actually providing us 35 days retention period. So this is the option from here. You can set up the retention period. Now then we have one option for a backup window. Let's understand this as well. So here we have scheduled backup windows. Automated backup are scheduled during the specified daily backup window. You can define this window or AWS will automatically assign one. See here we have both options. If I'm going to select no preference, means let's AWS to decide backup timing. And if you want to specify time, you can choose a window and here you can specify. Here you have to set up this time into the UTC. So if you are from India, you have to convert this into the Indian time. During this windows, RDS take full snapshot if needed and perform incremental backup. Now, here we have good uh, best practices for this as well. The backup windows is especially useful for minimizing performance impact as it lets you to specify low traffic time when the database may experience a minimal use. You know, when you are going to take backup, it may, there will be the performance impact, right? So it is always good idea to take a backup when the database is free. So specifically, let's say that I know that I have less number of users at night after 12 a.m. to 4 a.m. During this, if you are going to schedule this backup, it is always a good idea. So there will be minimum performance impact. So here you can specify timing. So AWS will take backup during this particular time. Now, we have one backup replication option as well. See here we have this backup replication. Now, what is the idea of backup replication? By default, when we are going to store backup, the backup will store into the same region. But as for the compliance purpose or for disaster recovery, I want to store this backup into another region. Now, in this case, you can choose this particular option, enable replication in another region. And here you can choose region as well. You can replicate automated backup to another AWS region to help with the disaster recovery. Snapshot and transactions log are replicated immediately after they are available in the source. Automated replication is not supported by multi AZDB clusters and there is no additional data transfer charges for backup store in the same AWS region, but 
charges apply for slabs or copies across the region. So you have to pay for replication. Now, here I am getting this option. Why? Because here I have multi AZ DB instance. If you have single DB instance, again you will get this option. But with multi AZ DB cluster, you will not get this option of backup replication. Look at this. Here I am not getting it. Why? Because it is not supported by multi AZ DB cluster. Okay. So, yeah, now I will get it. Look at this. Okay, so keep this in your mind. Now, cost associated with the automated backup. See, all the points that I have explained you, these are mandatory and you need to understand because these options are available here. But there are something more that you need to understand for exam purpose, for the interview purpose. These things are really very important because, you know, I am always looking for exam questions, which type of questions they are asking. And then I am adding these particular points into the training. So, you know, when you will give any exam, even if you are going for the practice exam, you will get complete understanding of this. So, I thought like, okay, we have to add these four mandatory points. But these three points are also very important for your examination or for your own uh, questions that you have in your mind. So, that's why I just added this. Let's complete them. So, here... Sorry, sorry, I know that you want to watch full video, but full video is now not available on YouTube. If you want to watch full video, I want you to go to our website. When you will go to our website, you will find out our course 100 days YouTube challenge. I want you to enroll for this course by paying only 499 rupees for lifetime if you are from India. If you are from outside of India, you just need to pay 7 US dollar. Once you will enroll to this course, you are going to get all full videos over there on our portal. You are also going to get certificate after completing the course. And we have just uploaded 120 videos. We are going to upload another 120 videos as well. So there will be total 240 videos. I hope. We are going to meet inside the class. Thank you very much.